Hi boys, so today is uh, Poetry Day 2020 and uh, what we're going to do today is we're each going to pick our favourite poem and very simply uh, we're going to read it out and record why we think it's our favourite poem. So today uh, my favourite poem is uh, The Lake I Live in the Shree by William Butler Yeats. Mm. Now uh, W.B. Yeats, he was uh, known as, and he was actually from Dublin, he was born in Sandy Mount. And he was taken to Sligo, where I'm from, as a child, and uh, he fell in love with the place. And one of his most famous poems was about uh, Inish Free or Loch Gill, as it's called here. So uh, behind me, you can see it. There's the lake now. Uh, it's a bit cold. It's on a, a bit of a dreary day there. Uh, but uh, I'm going to read you the poem, uh, The Lake I Live Inish Free by W.B. Yeats, and I'll tell you why uh, it's my favourite poem. I will arise and go now, and go to Inishfree, and a small cabin built there, of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rolls will I have there, and a high for the honey bee, and live alone in a bee loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the veils of the morning, to where the cricket sings. There midnight's all a glimmer, and noon a purple glow, and evening full of linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for always night and day. I hear lake water lapping, with low sounds by the shore. While I stand on the roadway, or on the pavement's grey, I hear it in my deep heart's core. Yeah, that's it there, boys. Um, there's a couple of reasons I really like this poem. Um, the first one is a very obvious one. It's about very close to where I live. So, Lock Hill is about five minutes drive, or... If you go from my house to my local primary school and past my primary school about the same length, so like a mile and a half and then another mile and a half, you'll get to Loch Gill. And uh, the picture behind me is quite um, dark, but on a on a, a bright day, boys, it's absolutely fabulous. There's a, a woods out there, Slish Wood, and it goes out by the edge of the lake. And uh, some of the sights you see around there uh, the poem really reminds me of it. Uh, there's some benches and stuff there, and you can just listen to the lake waters lapping. And um, there isn't—it's uh, a lake, so there isn't very big waves, but just those low sounds WB is on about. I can really relate to them. Um, other lines I really like in the poem: a small cabin built there of clay and wattles made. So there's a, an island in the middle of the lake, boys, and you can see it right behind me. And WB is on about retreating to that island. Uh, similar to what we're doing now during coronavirus, kind of getting away from the hustle and bustle of life and just living a very quiet, peaceful time uh, like a lot of us are doing at the moment. And I really thought that was fitting uh, for the time we're having now. OK. And I'll have some peace there for peace comes dropping slow. So that's what WB is on about that line. He's on about living on the island and just withdrawing from life and living peacefully with nature okay some of the things i really like in the poem are the descriptions so he talks about the veils of the morning so like if you ever see the sky at night or going from day to night or from night to day you'll see the kind of layers the red the purples the blues that are in the night sky and that's what wb is on about there the veils of the morning so lifting of that light and how it kind of there's different layers to that light He's on about the midnight's all a glimmer and noon a purple glow. So he's describing the night again there, boys. And as well as the things he sees, he describes the things he hears. And that's what's really different about this poem for me. He describes the linnet's wings, so you can hear the insects in the air. He describes the lake waters lapping. And um, then the final bit of the poem, boys, is the bit that really hits home. Whether I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's grey, I hear it in my deep heart's core. So whether he's in Dublin or he's in a built-up city where there's loads of concrete, he still remembers the beautiful lake and um, and the beautiful county Sligo. So that's kind of like me in Dublin, you know. Whether I'm in Finglas or whether uh, I'm at my house in Dublin, I hear it in my deep heart's core. Uh, I'll always want to go home at some stage. So uh, I felt I could really relate to this poem. Uh, and... Uh, that's why it's one of my favourite poems, boys. So what you can do yourself is you, you can either take a video of yourself 
uh, reading your own poem, your favourite poem, and giving the reasons for your answer. Or what you can do is you can copy down the lines of the poem into the Word document below and write maybe two or three reasons why you think it's your favourite poem. Um, some of those might be it has a great rhyme. Uh, you could really like the descriptions. You could like that it's a short poem. You could like that it's a long poem. You could think it's funny. You could think it's interesting. Uh, you could think it's easy to understand. So those are all really good reasons why you might like a poem. Um, so I hope all of you are keeping well. I hope all of you are safe. I hope all of you are making the most of your time at the moment. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon, boys. Okay? Stay safe, stay happy, and best luck.